Hi there. Welcome to English for Everyone. My name is Lisa. And my name is Kevin. Today we're going to practice with present perfect and we're going to talk about some mistakes we need to avoid. Let's get started. So, I've not is technically correct. I've not eaten breakfast yet. But we don't say this in America. It's British. In America, we only say I haven't. I have not. Have not contraction. Haven't. I haven't eaten breakfast yet. After haven't, we need to use the participle of the action. So, in present eat, in past ate, the participle is eaten. Pronunciation, not eaten, but eaten. You go to a stop T, eat, and you fall to the N. Eaten. I haven't eaten breakfast yet. So remember, we don't say I've not eaten. It's I haven't eaten breakfast yet. When do we use haven't? We use haven't when you talk about yet. When I make the question, I say have you. Have you eaten breakfast yet? And you respond negative. No, I haven't eaten breakfast yet. If you want to say positive, don't use yet. Say, I've already eaten breakfast. But we're talking about the negative. I haven't. I haven't eaten breakfast yet. We also use the negative haven't in present perfect when talking about something recent. So if you say recently or lately, use the question, have you? Have you seen a movie recently? Have you seen a movie lately? And the negative is no, I haven't seen a movie recently. I haven't seen a movie lately. Have you seen your friend Kim lately? No, I haven't seen her lately. We also use the negative haven't in present perfect when you say in a while. I haven't seen her in a while. Question, have you seen your friend Kim lately? No, I haven't seen her in a while. I haven't seen her in a while. Use in a while. We cannot use in a little while, only in a while. I haven't seen her in a while. So remember, we use present perfect with yet. So let's practice. Have you sent the email to your boss yet? No, I haven't sent the email to my boss yet. Have you sent the email to your boss yet? Very good. Have you done your taxes yet? No, I haven't done my taxes yet. Have you done your taxes yet? Very good. Have you washed the dishes yet? No, I haven't washed the dishes yet. Have you washed the dishes yet? Very good. Have you made the bed yet? No, I haven't made the bed yet. Have you made the bed yet? Very good. We also need present perfect when using recently, lately, or in a while. Let's practice. Have you seen your neighbor Bill recently? No, I haven't seen him in a while. Have you seen your neighbor recently? Very good. Have you heard from your family recently? No, I haven't heard from them recently. Have you heard from your family recently? Very good. Have you seen any good movies lately? No, I haven't seen any good movies lately. Have you seen any good movies lately? Very good. We also use present perfect when talking about all your life. Question, have you ever seen that movie? No, I have never seen that movie. We avoid using haven't in this case. If someone asks you, have you ever seen this movie? They use ever for the question because they're talking about your whole life. We want to emphasize in the answer, negative, you say, I've never. I've never seen that movie. If you answer, I haven't seen that movie, technically it's correct, but we don't answer that way because we want to emphasize not in your life. We use never. I've never seen that movie. So, I have, together, I've. I've never. Question. Have you ever seen that movie? No, I've never seen that movie. If I ask the question, have you ever eaten shark? You can use the participle eaten. Have you ever eaten shark? But it's also correct to use had because have, the action have, we use for eating and drinking. So I can say, have you ever had shark? Have you ever had this drink? So have you ever eaten or have you ever had? Both are correct. 
Let's talk about a special case in present perfect. The action go. In present go. In the past went. The participle is gone. So I can ask the question, have you ever gone to New York? But we don't ask this question like this. We use a different action. We use been instead of gone. So we say, have you ever been to New York? We're talking about traveling. So we use the connector to. Just like in present, I go to New York. In the past, I went to New York. If I ask the question, have you ever, use been to, because you're talking about traveling and movement. Question, have you ever been to New York? And the answer is no. I've never been to New York, or I've never been there. Let's talk about the pronunciation of been. We don't use the long E, been. They do that in England, but in America, we don't say been. We make the short I, been, been. Have you ever been? Example, have you ever been to New York? Answer, no, I've never been there. Let's practice. Have you ever been to New York? No, I've never been there. Have you ever been to New York? Very good. Let's practice. Have you ever been to Paris? No, I've never been to Paris. That's right. Remember, use the connector to, to Paris. Have you ever been to Paris? Very good. Let's practice. Have you ever been to the Hard Rock Cafe? No, I've never been to that restaurant. Have you ever been to the Hard Rock Cafe? Very good. Have you ever been to the aquarium? No, I've never been to the aquarium. Have you ever been to the aquarium? Very good. Have you ever been to the circus? No, I've never been to the circus. Have you ever been to the circus? Very good. Have you ever been to the zoo? No, I've never been to the zoo. Have you ever been to the zoo? Very good. Have you ever been to the ballet? No, I've never been to the ballet. Have you ever been to the ballet? Very good. Have you ever been to the opera? No, I've never been to the opera. Have you ever been to the opera? Very good. When I ask this question about drink, present drink, past drank, and the participle is drunk. But we don't use drunk because it sounds bad. Because drunk is a description when you drink too much. So we use the action have in the past, had, and the participle had. So I've never had a martini. Have you ever had a martini? No, I've never had a martini. Have you ever had a martini? Very good. Let's practice. Have you ever had a strawberry daiquiri? No, I've never had a strawberry daiquiri. Have you ever had a strawberry daiquiri? Try one. They're good. When I talk about food, I can use the participle eaten. Have you ever eaten shark? Or I can use the action had. Have you ever had shark? Let's practice. Have you ever had shark? No, I've never had shark. Have you ever had shark? Very good. Have you ever eaten alligator? No, I've never eaten alligator. Have you ever eaten alligator? Very good. Well, I have. It's not good. Don't try it. Let's practice. Have you ever seen that movie, 2001? No, I've never seen it. Have you ever seen the movie, 2001, A Space Odyssey? Very good. Let's practice the action right. In the present, right. In the past, wrote. And the participle is written. I have never written a book. Have you ever written a book? No, I've never written a book. Have you ever written a book? Very good. The pronunciation of written. You go to a stop T, writ, but you don't make the T. You stop, writ, and then you fall to an N. Writ, n, written. This is the same pronunciation at the end of eaten. Eaten, written. Let's practice written. 
Have you ever written a letter to the president? No, I've never written a letter to the president. Have you ever written a letter to the president? Very good. Remember, don't say I've not. Say I haven't. If you hear a question with yet, have you done it yet? Respond, I haven't. No, I haven't done it yet. If you use recently, lately, or in a while, use I haven't. I haven't seen my friend in a while. Have you seen your friend recently? No, I haven't seen him in a while. And if the question's with ever, have you ever done that? You answer, I've never. Avoid using I haven't. Use never to emphasize in your life. I've never done that. And remember, when talking about places that you went in your life, use been. Don't use gone. Use been to, the connector to. I've never been to that restaurant. Have you ever been to that restaurant? Answer, no, I've never been to that restaurant. Or, I've never been there. Thank you for watching. And if you like this video, check out the links in the description and practice more. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.